so they know what we're doing and why we do it. And we talked about doing things different. And I just knew it was the right fit. doctor today. Um, I'm having flu-like symptoms. But I knew that we kind of had similar values, um, both the way we practice medicine and the way that we look at life and the way that we handle business. I think that the most important thing is that it was just the two of us, that we were making our own decisions. We were, we were either going to succeed or fail, you know, by our own hands and no one else's. So the optimal would be I worked with John while he was doing his fellowship training in pediatric emergency medicine. And this was a common conversation. We had talked about doing urgent care for many years. I've been planning businesses in my mind for quite a while. And I had reached a time in which it was um, either needed to do it or do what I was doing and be happy about it. Have a seat right here. Okay, thank you. Great, thanks. We're trying to create affordable, efficient health care for the residents of Columbia Pike in South Arlington. We, we think we can do it better. We think that we can take a lot of the efficiencies that we've learned about running emergency departments and apply them to a facility like this. We want people to get high quality, efficient care that they can be confident in. Um, we want people to leave here knowing that they don't have to question um, whether or not the care they're getting is of the best quality they can get in any urgent care right. facility anyway. What brings you in to see us today? Uh, I've been having flu-like symptoms, unfortunately, so just wanted to come in today and, and see if I was kind of getting over the flu um, and also to double-check that I don't have an ear infection. Yes. Anybody mm -hmm. sick around you with the same problem? Uh, it's been going around work, the office, uh, for the past month or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Great. My first year out, I worked at a small hospital up in Boston where we would have people um, who would come in for probably not typical emergencies or they were more urgent matters and I would ask them I would say well, wh why did you come here rather than go to your primary care doctor and they would say either I don't have a primary care doctor or they would say I called my primary care doctor first and they didn't have any available spots for the next two weeks and I'm feeling really poorly and I need to see someone and this was the only place that was open and then throughout the rest of my career I would ask people trying to figure out why they came why did they come to the emergency department rather than go somewhere else and, and the conclusion I came to was there was no somewhere else for a lot of people. Okay. If you have strep, we'll need to send in a prescription um, for some antibiotics. If you don't, it's most likely a viral infection. They would come for coughs and colds. They would come for slips and falls to see if there was a fracture in children. They would come and bring their child, a child in for a fever or vomiting. And a lot of that stuff, I mean, we can manage here in the urgent care center. An emergency department is a great place. They have all the resources available 24 hours a day, highly trained emergency physicians and emergency nurses. And with that comes two problems. One, there in general is a long wait. Um, and then from the money standpoint is an emergency department visit is, is very, very expensive. And the reason is that the hospital has to recoup fees for having uh, their emergency department staff 24 hours a day ready for anything. The cost associated with waiting for six hours to get your ankle sprain taken care of in an emergency department, both in terms of time and dollars, is, is, is unsustainable in our current healthcare system. I'm gonna have you stick your tongue out and okay. a quick swab. Okay. Healthcare is gonna change dramatically and I predict five years from now, um, it's gonna look completely different than it currently looks. Integral to that is, is gonna be new methods of creating more efficient and more cost-effective ways to take care of people. And this is, this is a spectacular way to do that. Um, our costs are much, much lower than the overhead that um, exists in a, in a health system, in a hospital emergency department, even in a standalone emergency department. You know, we can provide an equivalent product, if not better in certain ways. I'm going to take this back to our lab, go ahead and run the test. Okay. In five minutes, we'll have a result, and I'll let you know. Okay. Okay? Great. Right, great. Thank Thanks. you. Sure, I'll be right back. Okay. People value time. Uh, they don't really like to go and sit in the emergency room and wait in a chair to speak with someone, to sit a little longer. So when they come here, I think they value their time and we value their time. So when someone can come in that's not feeling well and leave here in under an hour with a peace of mind, um, I'm sure that's got to be gratifying. My goal is to um, have the patients in and out in a third of the time that it takes them to go through an emergency department. I shoot for under 60 minutes. That's what my goal is. 
um, and then it should be about a third the price. Here's the instructions given from the doctor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read those. Okay. In the past, I've had to go to the ER, which is also gets very pricey. And being a young professional, uh, taking out you know a full day or a full afternoon uh, can sometimes be a hindrance. So the the uh, timeliness factor, and also just the fact that they're very thorough and it's clean and. Um, feel really good about coming in and out and having a good understanding. We are open um, extended hours, so 8 to 8 p and we're open on weekends. So a lot of times people have problems because if they could get into their doctor, their doctor is closed when they're at work. And a lot of people, if they don't work, they don't get paid. Um, so we offer extended hours to get people in here. We're also able to take care of a certain number of things that are classically seen in the emergency department, like lacerations, like fractures. <laughs> okay. They make it very simple with insurance as well in terms of copay um, and billing afterwards um, and making things very simple. We uh, offer what we refer to as a prompt pay discount. So we have a, a series of levels based on um, what your issue is and we try to make our, our prices comparable and affordable to people who, who don't have health insurance or would prefer to not use their health insurance because they have a very high deductible. Ending up here was definitely not an accident. We chose to be knowing full well that there was going to be significant diversity, and we simply embraced it. It's a challenge. It, there's no question. Um, but, you know, we work hard to work our way around it. Um, if you notice on our website, um, we've built a whole side of the website that's in Spanish. We've actually gone out of our way to hire staff that speak different languages. So it's relatively frequent that we have a staff member working that actually can speak Spanish. I just had a colleague actually the other day who wasn't feeling well instead of going to the ER, taxied right over here and same thing, she has a couple small children. Um, so for her to be able to come in for an hour tops and out and have the results and be able to get home was very important to her as well. So it's already spreading through the workplace too that um, I'm happy to refer them anytime because I'm back again myself today. <laughs> Patient feedback is very, very important to us. I mean, I, I think that's the only way you get better is to listen to, to listen to your patients. They'll tell you if you're not doing something right. We certainly hope we create a better a, a, a degree of financial security for our families as part of what we do, but you know, we're not opening some concierge practice. We'll take care of anybody. We're going to provide it in a very cost-effective way. I love it. I think it's great. I love that, that my partner and I created something. I love the fact that we're able to come, to come to Columbia Pike and help the people who in the past didn't really have any options. I love the business side of it. I love it. It's great.